Okay, in, uh, in this, uh, now we have an example, um, a specific example. And uh, what it says is the population of a beetle colony grows 30% each week for 10 weeks. The beetle colony started with 65 beetles. All right, so all my information is right here. First of all, this grows 30%. This 30% is my rate of growth, right? This is my rate of growth, right? That's my R. So my R is going to be equal to 0 0.30 because 30% is 0.3 when you write it as a decimal, right? And this 10 weeks, as it says, it's growing this much over that 10 week period. So this 10 week is my time. That's my time frame, right? So my T is equal to 10 right there. Make sure you remember thinking of it as weeks. Sometimes they'll give you something in weeks and years and you got to kind of you know convert one to the other so that you're in the same time uh, span for both all right and it says the beetle colony started with 65 beetles so this starting with 65 beetles this is my a so my a is equal to 65. so now if we're going to write a function that describes the population of the beetle colony after t weeks they're saying what is the general case of this particular function so it is y equals, we're going to use 65 for my A, all right, and then it's 1 plus, well, my R is 0 0.3, so 0 0.3, I'm not going to include the 0 after it because it's really not important, and then my T, right, they said after T weeks, this is my general case, so you just put T, and then usually, like any other equation, they'll tell us what T is for the specific cases. So let's, uh, let's just simplify this. this is y equals 65 times 1.3 to the t power. And this is my general case um, function, all right? And then you, when they tell you t, that's what you figure out. And so now in the second one, they say find the population of the beetle colony after 10 weeks. So we are going to go y is equal to 65 times 1.3 to the, well, my T is 10 weeks. So let's make a note here, T equals 10, all right? And so now you will take your calculator. When you do these, if you have the iPhone, um, I don't know what you do if you have the Android, I apologize, but you can kind of listen to what I'm telling you to do if you have the iPhone, sort of transfer it. So you want to be in the mode where you get like all the scientific stuff showing up, right? So it can't be in portrait mode. You got to turn your phone, which means it can't be locked, right? So unlock your phone, open up your calculator, turn it down so it's in and in, uh, yeah, in landscape mode, and then you're going to use the function on that I'm going to use is going to be this uh, x to the y function. So I'm going to type in. Right? When I do this, I'm going to type in 65, and then I'm going to go times 1.3, and then I would hit the uh, XY button, right? So I'd hit 6, I hit 5, you hit your times, your multiplication button, right? And then you hit 1.3, type those in, and then X to the Y. And then it needs you to type in what the y is, and then you would put in 10 for your y. So let's go ahead and do this. 65 times, I go 1.3. Let me hit my x to the y button, and then I'm going to put 10 in for that. So that gives me 896.08 beetles, right? 0 0.08 of a beetle makes no sense, right? So we would round this down to the whole number. So it would be approximately 896 beetles. All right, and that's where we're at. So I'm just going to check my 1.3 to the 10 power, make sure that was right. That's 13.78584 blah, 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 times 65. And that is where I get my... 896. So yeah, that worked out. It does. Your calculators usually naturally do PEMDAS, so um, they will do the uh, they'll do this first before they multiply it by the 65, which is nice. All right, and if you're not sure about that, you can always do a double of uh, use parentheses 
actually, with your calculator to help you with that. All right, I am going to pause and stop the video here, and then and we will have one more example in the following video.